Hi friends, welcome to Offer Studies YouTube channel. This is part 51 in PySpark playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about date difference, months between add months, date add, year and month functions. So this video is actually a continuation to previous video. In my previous video, I already discussed about few date functions like current date and also to date and format date, right? So please watch that video and then watch this video because it is like a continuation video and we are going to explore few more functions which are related to dates in PySpark. So let's try to explain this with all practical demo. So before I start, as I said in my last video, the default date type format in PySpark is YYYY MMDD that means year, month and date. So if you supply any value even in a string with this format, then all these functions will work good or you can directly supply date time values as well. So let me practically explain you this so that you will make sense of it. So let's go to browser. This is my Databricks workspace and here let me try to create a new notebook and let me name this notebook like dates to notebook. Okay. Python is a default language. This is our cluster. So let me hit create button to create this notebook and once the notebook get creates, we can start writing our practical examples to understand this better. So firstly, from PySpark.SQL.Functions module, let me try to import first function which will be date diff. So I want to explain you this date different function. So I am importing that first. And here, let's try to create a data frame, Spark.CreateDataFrame. And to this, we have to supply your data first. So I am supplying list of values here, maybe 2015, then 08, sorry, hyphen I should use, right? Then maybe sixth month, okay? Then maybe uh, 14th date, okay? So this is one value. And let me add another value into this list. So 2015, maybe seventh month, same date. So this is my data. And I am going to define column names for this data frame like D1 and then d2 okay so this entire code will create a data frame so let me store that data frame in a variable called df then let me use df dot show function to display this data frame on a output console so you can see there is small error so it, it's saying infer schema type there is an error with the inferring the schema so let me see what is wrong here okay so here actually i have to define these as tuples right if you remember so the data we have to define as a list of tuples. So let me define it as a tuple and then I provided a schema here. Now let me hit shift enter to execute this code and it should print my data frame here successfully which should have two columns D1 and D2. You can see D1 and D2 first column value this is and this is the second column value. So we are good here. So now what this date diff function will do? This function will give you uh, the difference between the dates. So for example here, it is around 30 days difference, right? If you want to calculate that, you should use this date diff function. So let me practically do that. Data frame dot, I am using with column function. This will generate a new column on top of data frame, right? So maybe like a date diff, that is the column name I want to give, dates different. Then here, I want to use this date diff function and to this function, you have to supply end date and start date. So this D2 column is end date, D1 column is start date. So what I will be doing, df dot D2 comma df dot D1. So I am supplying my end column, I am supplying my start column also, I mean start date, end date, okay, basically. So now it will calculate the difference and it will create a new column with that difference. And finally, let me use the show function here to print that data frame. So when I hit shift enter now, it should print a data frame where I can see date difference is 30 days. See, it is clearly printing that. That means this function is helping us to get calculate the difference between the dates successfully. Okay. Now there is another function called months difference. Okay. So months between, sorry. So this will give you the uh, number of months between two days. Okay. For example, here there is only one month difference between these two dates, right? So you can calculate that information using this months between function. So let me practically explain you that same data frame I am taking and here I am using a with column function. 
and uh, this time I want to add a new column called months between okay months between and then here I am using months between function and to this months between function I have to pass my end date that is d2 column and then I have to pass my start date that is d1 column then finally let's try to use a show function to print this data frame and let me hit shift enter to execute this code now if you observe the output we calculated the months between columns successfully and it is successfully giving how many months is the difference between these two days okay now let's try to understand another function the third function will be like a add months so for some reason you want to add months to any date for example for this date i want to add three months so how can i do that so if i add three months it should be like 2015 10th month 14th date right so if you want to do that in PySpark, use this uh, add months uh, function so let me import that here first add months function i am importing it here i am giving i am creating a new column on top of this data frame that contains df df df1 and df2 columns and here i am giving new name to the column like add months okay and the value to this column will be like a output of add months function so for this function you have to supply the column at which you want to add the months so on data frame d2 column that means on this date i want to add three months so i will be using a three here so now finally let's try to use show function and when i hit shift enter and if i observe the output result here see it successfully added three months here right you can see d2 column is seventh month now this add months column has 10th month so it is successfully able to add so for some reason you want to subtract the months let's assume then you can use the same function but supply a negative value here so for example here i want to create a new column called sub months that means subtract months and here i am supplying minus 3 so what this will do from this seventh month it will minus three months and it will print the output so let me hit shift enter to execute the code and let's wait for the command to run and once the command executed successfully if you see the output it is printing it as a fourth month right so why this is happening because we supplied a negative value here so that means using this add months i am able to subtract the months as well similarly there is a another function called date add this will add the days actually so for example here it is 14th september 14th uh, 7th month right 14th day of 7th month now i want to add three days to it so what i can do i can use this day add function so what i can do is let me do the same thing data frame dot with column function days add okay let me give a column name like days add okay and here i am using date add function and to this date add function i am supplying my d2 column and i am asking it to add three days now finally let's try to use a show function here and let me hit shift enter to execute this code and if you see the output result here see it is 14th 7th month now it is 17th 7th month so that means you are successfully able to add the days you can even subtract the days as well so what you do take this same code and here maybe i want to do minus three and i want to name like sub days okay sub days so that is the column name i want to give and when i hit shift enter that command will run successful and after execution if you see the output here see it is able to subtract the three days so you can add the days you can add the months you can add the months and similarly you can subtract the days and months as well okay and finally from a given date if you want to take out year and month there are some functions for it for example this year function will give you year from the date and then month function will give you month from the date so let me practically show you that as well so let me copy this code here so here i am going to create a new column called year and i am using this year function and i am passing my date from this d2 column date take out the year print that that's what i am saying similarly what i can do i can get the month as well so let's create a new column called month and i am using a month function here from this d2 column date take out the month and print now let me hit shift enter to execute this 
and let's try to examine the output results in the output window now if i scroll down here you can see year column gets the year value correctly similarly month column gets the month number correctly so like this there are so many functions which are very useful when you are working with the days functions not only this when i see the intelligence here by hitting the control space you can see day of month day of week day of year so there are lot of other functions also i am not covering them they are very straight forward you can start trying these functions by passing your date in date column and then by examining the results so let's go back to presentation so the same examples whatever i shown it is mentioned here as well so i hope you got it how to use these functions when you are working with days thank you so much please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i add videos thank you so much